Hello everyone, my name is Jared Thomas and we're here today for our third part of this Build a Flow series utilizing the Adex Wildman Arc. Now in the first two episodes what we did is we learned new movements, each of which is kind of their own flow individually, but just real quick we'll go through a very fast refresher on this. The very first movement was essentially a 360 shield cast whereby the globe crests past the shoulder I then let it lower down for a low lateral swing that I will follow with my trailing leg to step and then switch my other foot. So now I'm 180 degrees the opposite direction. I do another shield cast. Once it crests the shoulder, another low lateral swing, and then it pulls me right back to front. All right. So this was move number one. Move number two is where you're going to take the arc right about mid arc here. You're going to press it across your body opposite the hand holding it. So my right arm here, right hand, pushing it to my left side. I'm going to set back, sit backwards just a little bit into my posture, do a low backward swing that will pull up and then switch hands as it lands back into that order position on the opposite side. All right. Call this maybe a backwards figure eight type of motion. So that way again, you can see it from the side. All right, so now let's combine those two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here in our shield cast position, order position, getting ready for that move number one, where we're going to do the shield cast. Let the mace globe crest just past the shoulder for our low lateral swing, where then I'm going to actually keep the hand that pulled it up for our low swing, and then a low swing. But we're then going to complete our step step to that low swing again low or shield cast low swing step step swing then rotate back 90 for that shield cast and that low lateral and what's interesting about this guys there's actually two ways that you can build that flow so again there's the first way shield cast low lateral swing cast across cast across and another shield cast low lateral swing to get you back where you started or or you could do your shield cast low lateral swing low swing and then go back switching to the opposite way right so i do my regular shield cast that same hand keeps it comes right back the other way where I can do the shield cast, low lateral swing, taking that same hand and moving it across. So guys, there's a lot of different ways that you can put these together. This is probably how I would recommend to do it when you first start. One of, one of these two types of transitions. So anyhow. That's just a couple of different ways that you can put together these two moves into a singular flow. And ultimately, I'm really curious to see what you come up with. So go ahead, play around with it. Let us know what you think. And once again, from Adex Club and Mace, this is Jared Thomas. Thank you guys.